Hi, um, my name is Margot Tomeltosh and uh, it's almost 10 o'clock here in Chicago on July 24th and um, sorry I was so excited to participate in this project and then yesterday I broke my toe so I am totally unable to go and show you very much in the way of exciting things. So instead I'm coming to you live from my back porch in Chicago. And one of the things I love in Chicago is just to walk up and down in the alleyways and to sit on back porches and tell stories. So since my foot is broken and I couldn't take you anywhere else, I decided that I would come Sometimes there's an obstruction to any view. Um, anyway, I decided that I would come and tell you a story on my porch um, and maybe take you somewhere and take me and my story somewhere while I was doing that. Okay, so I'm back and I'm sorry for the interruption and I hope you didn't mean it had to be a single shot. I had to go and find those questions you wanted to know the answers to. Um, and to use them to remind me of what I wanted to tell you. Um, and what I love, um, I love Chicago on a summer night. I love sitting and sweating and talking and being silent in the sweat and heat of it. And um, the person that I love and that I miss more than anything is my sister. And. Um, 2010, uh, if she were sitting on this porch with me right now, um, she would be 25 years old, which is insane because I've never known her um, older than seven years old, which is the age that she was when she died, and I was 13. Um, this is a picture of us when we were both much younger. Um, and that's her, and what I fear more than anything is, um, I fear forgetting. It's my biggest fear, um, to forget the memories of someone who we've lost, to not think about them for too long to go days and forget to not know how to answer questions like are you an only child because for my adult life I will be alone and the older I grow and I'm 31 and she would be 25 and I wish we were sitting here making a goofball video together um but I don't have anywhere to go and be with her, um, not, not in the traditional sense. There's no tombstone for me to go to, so um, when I want to talk to her, I uh, sometimes I write letters um, in the sand, letters on the beach in Lake Michigan, or in, uh, in the beaches on Cal the California coast where we grew up, where I grew up with and without her. And um, I know this isn't very interesting footage, but I'm hoping that some part of the story will be used because I never found the right way to talk to her and I'm always looking. And I thought perhaps if I made a little piece of a myth film that got used as an even smaller piece of a movie that seems wonderful that maybe, uh, you know, in some movie theater in heaven she would watch me. Um, I don't know if I believe in angels. I think... I think... <clears throat> I'm sorry <clears throat> that I was gone. I had to find my breath again. I think that if I believe in angels, they're the wings of desire kind, the kind that stand on rooftops and look down into alleyways and feel your pain with you 
even though they can't touch you. Um, kind that only little children see. And um, what I hope most for myself is that I always remain young enough in my heart to recognize if I ever happen to meet an angel. Um, uh, but I did meet one once. And this is my favorite photo of her. And it's one that is falling apart. Um, and I don't have the negative for it. And there may be one day when this footage, um, this film exists and the photograph does not, and there may be one day when n none of them exist, um, and um, no one is left on earth to miss her, and um, that makes me sad.